On a grey day in Lancashire, Prince Harry came to see how one flooded village is recovering after much of it was left devastated by last December's storms. This is, this is all your, all your belongings, yes. 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 and next door as well, presumably. No, just ours. It's just yours there. Yes. Many here in St Michael's on Wire were affected, 91 homes and 21 businesses in the borough were flooded, but it didn't dampen their enthusiasm for the Prince's visit today. Well, that one's especially for you. You bought them especially for me? Yeah. Oh, that's it's very kind. Cool. Which, one, which one can I have? Both. <laughs> 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 fantastic. Among those still in temporary accommodation, Frank and Barbara Hart, who've lived here 30 years, their home now gutted. All the furniture, all the fittings, just well, ruined. ruined, yeah. Well, Prince Harry has chatted to many people here in this community. His visit certainly a boost to morale for all those who were affected by last year's floods. So concerned was Harry to fit everyone in that he decided to forgo lunch in the village pub. What do you think of him? He's smashing, isn't he? <laughs> it's not he should get married, shouldn't he, and have a family. It'd just be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Harry also met some of the 500 soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, the Duke of Lancaster's regiment, who worked tirelessly over Christmas to help flood victims. And for some of those children who didn't get to see their parents at Christmas, a visit from a prince perhaps went some way to make up for it. Really excited. <laughs> I, I really want to see the Queen. <laughs> the Queen's not coming. She's not Catherine Jacob, 5 News, St Michael's on Wire.